So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Eishin EW30s. However, it's going to be a pretty short review because there's really nothing to say about this. So let's get started. Now, first of all, the fitment is pretty decent, at least for my face and better than their other cheaper models. And they also have IPD adjustments. So I'm able to see now with their cheap goggles. So that's really great. I was able to see the screen without having be a double screen. Now, another really nice feature is the batteries built in and charged via micro USB, which they do also provide you with the micro USB here. You do have an AV output and you also have SD card. You have DVR recording, which is really great. And we have two antennas now. Don't mistake this for diversity. It is not diversity. It is just a dual antenna setup. Now, how is the range? Well, the range is just like any other of their cheap models. It's not good. It's not bad. It's just just right there along with them so and you can definitely get more performance out of it if you get better antennas here now where this thing in my opinion was would be a deal breaker is actually looking through to the screen now this it feels as if the screen has it's pretty low resolution the screen is 480 by 360 but the problem with that is they've put the screens way too close or magnified them way too much where it's actually difficult to know what the hell's in front of you at times. I'll try to show you a simulation of what I saw through there, but it really did affect my flying performance and it will hold you back, especially if you're flying an FPV drone and you're trying to hit a couple gates or a couple gaps, especially if there's trees around. It is, it's almost like flying blind at times. So keep that in mind. The pixelation is pretty bad. Um, I'd still, I personally, I would definitely recommend you get yourself an EV800Ds, which I have linked down below. Even the Emacs Easy Pilot goggles that come with that kit are really great. The only downside compared to these is those don't have DVR, but I would rather have that one than this one. Or the EV800s are still also really well, really good. They fit well and they just perform good. Um, but this one is in a, I don't know what to say. It has a class of its own, I guess. I guess you get what you paid for, but I think you could get better for 50 bucks. I mean, if they were $30, it'd be acceptable, 35, 40 pushing it. But 51 bucks for this is a bit too much in my opinion. Um, Emacs should really go back and, and try to fix this. Maybe overall, I mean, I would definitely get something else unless you needed the, I mean, unless you're flying in a field and you're, you're not trying to go through anything, then okay, they're fine. But when you try to do something, it's going to be very difficult because the resolution is really bad or the pixelation or whatever the hell they did wrong with this. is, is It's really bad. You, I couldn't fly. I couldn't hit the gaps. I usually hit and I have my place memorized, which is um, usually I would be able to even if I have a ton of breakups, I have it memorized. But with here, it really hindered my my flying performance like a lot, like noticeably a lot. It made me feel like I couldn't fly. So. Yeah, just keep that in mind. And um, Eoshin, you should definitely go back to the drawing board and just make an Eoshin EV800 DV2 um, and make it make those better because those are really great goggles. And these um, are just, you know, I think these are just going to come and go. And maybe they're planning on using this with another kit sometime soon. Yeah, that's about it, guys. I'll have it linked down below. I'll have what else I recommend down below. Definitely check my recommendations out, especially if you're on a budget. And I'm going to leave it at that, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.